Breaking, military makes shock Trump announcement. Puerto Rico is currently reeling from the aftermath of Hurricane Maria. If you were listening to the liberal bias, you would believe that President Trump is doing nothing to help the U.S. controlled land, but is that really the case? The truth is that President Trump is doing everything he can to make sure that Puerto Rico gets taken care of, and all the people there have necessities. It is a process and can't be done in with the wave of a magic wand. According to The Hill, Army Lieutenant General Jeffrey Buchanan stated Friday that we're certainly bringing in more troops. He went on to say, for example, on the military side, we're bringing in both Air Force, Navy and Army medical capabilities in addition to aircraft, more helicopters. But it's not enough, and we're bringing more in. At this point, the Pentagon has allocated around 4,000 troops to help out with relief efforts in Puerto Rico. Rescuing those displaced or injured individuals in the U.S. territory is important. These people are, after all, Americans who deserve the same help that everyone else here gets. The general story seems to be that the left believes that Trump isn't doing enough to take care of the people there. Puerto Rican Mayor, Carmen Yulín Cruz, has been one of the harshest critics of the president. She stated that the president needs to make sure somebody is in charge that is up to the task of saving lives. Instead of being grateful for the fact that there are troops there working hard and risking their lives to get Puerto Rico back to a functional state again, Cruz opted to complain. It seems that she's oblivious as to why supplies are scarce in her area. The troops are working with the Puerto Rican workers at ports to iron out the logistics of the rescue efforts, but these are large, coordinated efforts they take a lot of time, no matter the urgency. When Maria struck, many of the employees didn't, or rather couldn't, show up for work. As a result, there are a huge number of supplies like food, water, and medicine at the ports. It needs to be opened, sorted, and distributed, which can take some time. The Pentagon has allocated around 4,000 troops to help out with relief efforts in Puerto Rico. Is our military being stretched too thin? If it were somehow possible to wave a hand and make everything right in Puerto Rico, the president would. But until then, the reality of the situation needs to be addressed and resolved accordingly. The acting Homeland Security Secretary, Elaine Duke, visited the island Friday. Her job was to survey the area and see what can be done now, and to work out a plan for a complete cleanup and restoration of the area in the future. President Trump is scheduled to go to Puerto Rico Tuesday. At this point, telecommunications are back for around 30% of the island. About half of all grocery stores slash supermarkets have opened their doors, and about 60% of gas stations are opened again. The rebuilding process is moving along. The nation just needs to be patient and address their issues one at a time.